welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be this springtime makeup tutorial. This is the exact makeup that I wore in my Mac Cinderella haul video. And a lot of you guys wanted to see a tutorial and I was like, this look is so like light and fresh and dewy that it would make for a perfect springtime makeup tutorial. So here I am the very next day filming this tutorial and a lot of you guys asked for it. So that was so awesome. Thank you for requesting. This look that I have on here is just something that is so light and dewy and you just look like you're glowing and bronze and just have that fresh face perfect for springtime and I use zero eyeliner for this tutorial I know a lot of you guys get tired of seeing the black wing liner so it is gone in this tutorial I hope you guys are excited to see it I'm really excited for you to see it I hope you like it and we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna get started To begin this tutorial, we're going to start out by priming our skin. I'm going to be using the Primer Water by Smashbox. This stuff is pretty cool and I have been liking it so far. Then I'm going to go in with my NARS foundation, first shaking it up because it is a super liquidy foundation and you got to mix it all around. And then I'm just going to buff it out on my face with this Flat Top Kabuki from It Cosmetics. You can use your fingers um, if you want to or any Kabuki brush, but I'm just going to be using this one and evenly apply this foundation all over my skin. Then I'm going to be going in with this Milani Eye Primer. I love this eye primer. It is the bomb. And I'm just going to apply this from my lid, lash line, and up into my brows. Next, going in with the E40 Blending Brush, I'm going to take Orange Smoothie. I am using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows, by the way. But I'm going to take Orange Smoothie, and we're going to use this shade as our transition shade. If you don't have this shade like this, just go in with a cream color. This is going to help soften up that primer and make it way easier to blend everything. I like using the Orange Smoothie because it's super warm colored. Then I'm going to go in with Frappe, and I'm using this dome-shaped tapered brush from Morphe. And I'm going to blend this in the crease. Notice I'm holding the brush kind of upside down on my lid working this just in the upper crease area. This also is just going to help us add layer and give it a gradient feel and give us that warm feeling. I do take a whole lot of time blending this out. I do cut some of it out so we're not here for five years watching it but just know I did go back and forth back and forth forever to get it blended out really well. Next I dip just the tip of my brush in mocha and I'm just going to be blending it in the outer crease area and then working it in the outer V. I took the teeny tiniest amount of this color because we'll go back in and touch it up later. I just want it to add a little bit of depth to our spring look. I don't want this look to look smoky by any means though. Next, I'm going to wet this little brush and I added in the spotlight. This is Makeup Geek's foiled um, eyeshadow and oh my god, they are so amazing. Just look at that color payoff. It is, it's astronomical. That's, that's the only word I have for it. Basically, just packing this color all over the lid as you see, but just that color payoff, it's just, ugh, it makes the look. Then I'm going to go in with that tapered brush, brush, brush. And I'm going to blend out that crease area just because I needed to smooth it out a little bit more. Now we're going back in with Mocha. We're going to just deepen up that outer V a little bit. Again, taking a very small amount because I don't really want this look to look smoky. I just want it to look really soft. Now I'm going to take Shimma Shimma and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I did add quite a bit of this to my brow bone because I want this look to look super glowy and dewy and shimmery. Next I'm going to pop on some dramatic false lashes. These are House of Lashes and Iconic. These are my favorite lashes on the planet and I've worn these like a bazillion times so they're shaped pretty much to my eyelid. Then I'm going to conceal my face and we'll go back to our eyes in a minute. I'm just going to apply this Age Rewind Concealer, which I like a whole lot. It's a little bit of a deeper color and it um, works really well for my skin this time of year. So basically, you're going to brighten those under eyes, down the nose, cupid's bow, and a touch on the forehead. I'm using this 57 brush from Sephora, which is an awesome brush to blend out your concealer. I've had this brush for a bazillion years. That was so dramatic. I've had this brush for like three or four years, and it's just bomb. And then I'm going to be adding this new setting powder from NYX. I got this in my NYX goodie bag and I just opened it up and started using it and discovered that, um, yeah, I love it. So I'm just going to be taking this F35 brush from Sigma and packing that on where I applied the concealer so it doesn't crease and it'll help everything last much, much longer. 
Then going in with a shimmery bronzer rather than a matte bronzer. This one is by The Balm. It is beautiful. I'm taking a big fat brush and I'm just going to buff this all over my cheeks. This is what's going to help us give that warmth to our face. And it's also going to add the shimmer and a little bit of a glow, but we'll go ahead and add a highlight as well because you know I can't control myself with shimmer. But I do love this bronzer so much. It's just such a glowing bronzer. Next, I found this blush in my blush drawer <laughs> from Revlon. It is such a beautiful, nice blush, and I think it would look great on almost any skin tone. And I just pop that onto the apples of my cheeks and buff it backwards. Then I'm going in with Becca Highlight in Opal. I use this in every tutorial. I'm addicted to it. And I'm popping that onto the high points of my cheekbones. I am doing a whole lot of it as I usually do, but if you don't like that, you can just go in with a really light hand with your favorite shimmer. Now we're going to fill in the waterline with a little bit of this inner rim liner. You can use any inner rim liner that you have. I just wanted to keep anything black away from this look because I wanted the eyes to be super soft and light. Now I'm going in with Frappe, which was that medium brown color, and I'm going to buff that all underneath the um, lower lash line area, and I'm going to take it from inner to outer corner, just going back and forth, softening it up. Then I'll take a little bit of Mocha, and I'm going to blend that way closer to the lashes, and I'm only going to blend it on the outer corners to help open our eyes. I also take it up and connect it to the top eyeshadow. Then I add it in the spotlight in my inner corners to awaken and give us that bright, soft glow. Now I'm finally adding mascara. If you don't want to add false lashes, at this point you just add your favorite mascara. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. This is an awesome mascara and I'm going to coat those top and bottom lashes. Well really I'm just helping the top lashes to attach to those false lashes, but I do give my bottom lashes a nice heavy coat of mascara. Now I'm going to go in with Blankety, and this is just going to nude out my lips um, and take out any of the pink color that's already in it. And then I'm going to take the new gloss from Gerard, which worked perfectly for this tutorial because it's called Spring Fling. And it's their new spring lip gloss, and it's just a light Barbie doll pink color, and I'm obsessed with it. Here is our final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching. Please subscribe and check out the down bar for my social medias, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.